Alright. What do you believe to be the nature of the relationship between the mind and the body? I think mind and body are are related. I think that the body and bodily um, issues, physical issues, can affect the mind. And I also believe that the mind can have an impact on the body. If you ask precisely what the relationship between the two is, I think that there's a mystery. I don't think anybody really knows that for sure. What I'm confident of, um, I think it makes sense experientially and as a Christian and a pastor and a follower of Jesus, I think is reflected in the Bible, is that the body, including the brain, does not encompass all that there is to our humanity, that there's something more that doesn't just fit into that, that physical dimension that we can speak of as the mind. Um, you know, for Christians, we believe that God is a spirit who is infinite and eternal and personal, and yet we can speak about the mind of God and that he thinks he feels and he um, wills, and those are the, like the three components of personality, all of them existing without a body. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> and you mentioned God before, so um, what do you believe about God, or and also on that note about the soul? What do I believe about God? <laughs> Um, there's an old Christian confession called the Westminster Confession that I think actually has a pretty good definition of what I believe about God. It says that God is a spirit, infinite, eternal, and unchangeable in his being, wisdom, power, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. And so it's saying that there is a, there's a, a spirit in the context of the Bible story, and the Bible really is not just a list of propositional truths, but a story about creation and redemption, that there is a person who made the universe and everything in it, and that he is infinite, eternal, and unchangeable. And then all of those other qualities reflect all the ways that he's infinite, eternal, and unchangeable in his being, his wisdom, his power, his holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. Um, part of this, the, the story of creation that I think resonates with what a lot of people innately feel is that God made man a living soul. That creating a physical being, but to use the, the imagery of the story in the Bible, it says God breathed into him the breath of life and man became a living soul. That there, and, and that's that component, that God word, God God's image in man reflecting that, that extra something that is beyond, that transcends just the physical dimension. All right, and <clears throat> based on your answers to the previous two questions, um, <laughs> I know these questions are broad, but uh, how do you believe that affects the way you live? <clears throat> I believe it's, it, it totally um, <clears throat> immerses the way you live in a view of, of your identity and your purpose because it's saying we're not here just by chance or by accident to flail around trying to find or, 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 our meaning or to create or construct a purpose but rather to discover our purpose that we have a purpose that began, talking about mind, in the mind of God, that he made us to know him, to love him, to live in a relationship with him, in harmony with him and the world that he made, and thereby to bring glory to him, which simply means to take all those wonderful qualities of, of holiness, of justice, wisdom, and exalt them both by um, not just by praising them, but by participating in them, living in relationship with God. Um, certainly flows out into your, you know, if we're talking about philosophy, your epistemology becomes discovering the real world that God has made and believing that he created us with both reason and 
senses to discern a real world that he wants us to interact with. In terms of ethics, it means um, understanding the purposes for which God made us and his laws of life and how he wants us to relate to people. In terms of um, ontology, it means understanding our identity, that we really are living souls created in the image of God in a world that he created for his glory and for our good.